Snow foams are such an important part of the wash process. But with so many different brands on the market, it can be a minefield to know which one is the best. So if you've seen my review of the Built Hamber Touchless version 2, you'd have seen that I probably said that was one of the best snow foams on the market. But is it really the best snow foam on the market? Well, in this video today, I'm gonna to test out a snow foam that I think can rival Touchless, or is Touchless still the king? So this is the car we're going to be testing out the actual snow foams on now you can see it's got quite a lot of dirt on it um, it's not terrible but it's hasn't been washed for a good few months so it's probably like four or five months now and it's picked up quite dirt and it's you know it's quite bad so it's still be a good test for these two snow foams and we're going to test it out on the back of this car so as i mentioned the snow foam i'll be going up against is this touchless now you'd have seen a video i've done on this um, and i'll put a link in the description to that one and I just sort of tested out this version two of the Touchless and I thought, wow, it's an amazing product, probably one of the best on the market. And for me, it is the king of all the snow foams so far. And I didn't think there was anything that could rival it, but I did find something that I think is a close match. And that is Squid Ink, Alcofroth, I think that's how you pronounce it, snow foam. Now you can see I've used quite a lot of this product already. I've been testing it quite a lot because I was quite impressed with it. And I've been trying it out a few times now and I think this could actually rival Touchless. So yes, this is the product I'm gonna be testing against Touchless. Now, I've been obviously, as I said, I've been testing this quite a few times now and I think it's a really good product. And I was recommended this by Geeky Detail Reviews, Steve down there, really, really good product. He recommended it to me to try it out and definitely think it's a very close rival to this. Now, obviously I haven't compared them together yet and this will be the first time sort of putting them next to each other to see sort of what one is actually best, but as we know, most people say Touchless at the moment is probably the king, especially the version two, it's one of the best on the market. But could this be as good? Now we're gonna go through a different few categories in this video, so I'm gonna talk about price-wise. Is, you know, you can see the difference in the bottle size here, so obviously the price-wise is gonna make a difference on what one you're gonna go for and how much product you have to use in the Canon and stuff. So it's basically value for money. Then we're gonna talk about dwell time, how it looks on the car, what sort of foam you get, which one is best for that. I'm also going to say which one smells better, like scent-wise, which one you're going to sort of say, yeah, it's a nicer scent. But I think both of them, when I've been testing them separately, there's not too much scent. It's quite a strong cleaning product, but we'll put them together and see what we think is best. And the all-important cleaning power. So that'll be sort of the last test. What is the cleaning power and which one actually wins on that? Because at the end of the day, Snow Foam is all about what is the strongest product, what is going to clean the best for the pre-wash. So that is the important test. So we'll do that one at the end. So let's get this on the car and let's see what one we think is the actual best snow foam. So before I put it on the car, I just wanted to show you the actual snow foam cans I'm using it in. So it's going to be in the MJJC, so I've got the version Pro and the S version 3. So they're sort of the, both the same internals that could give out the same sort of foam, so I thought it'd be quite a fair test to do it in both. So we've got in this one, we've got the Built Hammer product. And this one, we've got the Alcafroth from Squid Ink. So I put 500ml in here. So as you were talking about price wise, obviously price wise they're about the same. They're around about 995, 999 mark. Both of the bottles are the same price. But obviously you would notice that with the touch dish you get one litre. Now, with the Aquafroth one, you only need to put 50 mils to 100 mils in there. So what I've done, I've gone to the 100 mil and I've put 400 mil of water. Now, you could probably go down to 50 mil, but I want to do it at the strongest sort of ratio and just see sort of what it does. Because it does say 50 to 100 mil with one, like with 900 millimeters of water, so a thousand milliliters of product like all together. So I've gone a little bit more stronger than that. So you could actually say that's, if you're using 50 mil and then you're using 950 mil of water, that's going to do you two cars because 500 mil of product in the snow foam kennel will do you a full car. So you're sort of thinking that's pretty good value for money. Obviously with the touchless, that's worked out by PAR, comparing it to, you have to work out, like compare it with the ratios for your, your pressure washer. With mine, for this, I've done it at about a 2% ratio, which is the top sort of mark, sort of cleaning mark for this one. Obviously with the old touchless, it used to be 4%, they've now made it down to about 2% for the highest one. Now that's roughly about 230 mil product to 380 mil, uh, 360 mil, it's, it's roughly around that. So it's about 240, 220 um, for mine. So it's in between that sort of bracket. And obviously that is a lot more product than you're using for the Squid Ink one. Um, so if you're gonna use a thousand 
you want to put a thousand milliliters of product in this cannon, you're gonna to have to double that for your ratio to work out. So there's a lot of product you're gonna to have to use for this. So it's just bear in mind that with this touchless, you're gonna use a lot more product to get to the, the two percent roughly, depending on your setup. And also you have to bear in mind that you have to work that out before you actually use the product. You could just throw 200 mil in there and have a guess, but it's always good practice to actually work out your PIR, the panel impact ratio, just to see where you're at. But yeah, I think on price wise, they're the same price, smaller bottle, there's not much in it. You're gonna use about double the amount of product with the built hamber one. So price wise, they're about on par. There's not much in it because yeah, you could sort of say if you're gonna use 50 milliliters in this, it's gonna be a bit cheaper, but there's hardly anything in it. So now let's put the snow foams on the car. So we're gonna do squid ink that side, touch this that side. So let's do the squid ink product because I feel that this actually dwells a bit longer. So it's already giving the next one away, but I'm gonna just do the squid ink first. So I've set my snow foam can to about halfway with the water and I'm gonna do both the same. Just turn that around, put that about there. And we're gonna try and do half the car, which is gonna be fun. Try and get that level. <laughs> change over so it gives it about the fair sort of same roll time and I've set both my cannons to the same thickness now as we know MJJC snow foam cannons give such a thick snow foam and even for touches which is a more bit more watery a snow foam it still gives a very thick snow foam as you can see but let's, let's test it out leave it on a time lapse and let's see how we get on Now to the dwell time, as you can see, the built hammer one is actually dripping off the car. And as we know, this one is a bit more of a watery snow foam. It does sort of dwell and down, and you only need to let that one dwell for about five minutes. Now with the squid ink product, you could give that to dwell for a good 10 minutes because it just sits there. Now it will slowly start to drop off the car. As you can see, it will slowly start to drop, but it does sit around for a lot longer. So dwell time for this one, if you want a snow foam that just sits there, a bit more dwell time, a bit more longer at breaking down them dirts. The squid ink one is definitely one that would win that category for dwell time. And then just the look of the foam, it just looks a bit better on the car. It sits there nice. So this one obviously drops off a bit. But obviously, preference on this one, what one do you prefer to look at? What one, you know, if you're doing your car and your neighbour comes out, which one is going to look better? Squid ink one, all the cars are going to stay on there. It's going to look really like a proper snow, snow foam on the car. So, yeah, we go with squid ink for that one. But touchless is obviously... A different type of snow foam where it's sort of dragging the dirt down the car. This one's sort of sitting on the, the snow foam, sitting on the car, breaking down the dirt, and then you're going to rinse it off. So they're doing sit the same sort of job but different ways. And yeah, that's what I think that squid ink one looks slightly better. Now with scent, let's go in and smell the. Not really much scent to that, really. <laughs> not much scent to it. And also bear in mind, I've got hay fever, so my nose is quite blocked, so I probably can't smell much anyway, so it's probably a pointless test, but yeah. They're both quite pretty decent smelling. Um, you could put your nose in the bottle of the product, but I wouldn't recommend that too much because you'll probably get a sore nose because some of these are like chemicals quite strong. Probably scent wires, there's not much in it. They're probably much the same. Both fresh cleaning smells. They're nothing, they've got nice scent. They're not scented like some of these like apples and strawberry scented snow foams, cherry snow foams, they're, they're not like that. They're literally just a cleaning product that's gonna do a proper job at pre-washing. Now, as, you, as I'm talking a bit more, so we're about five minutes into dwell now, you can see Squid Ink is finally starting to drop down the car and then Built Hamber is probably much finished its dwell. I'm gonna let this dwell for about 10 minutes, say, so I'll come back in to do the final test, which is what is the cleaning power of these products. I've rinsed the car and I've let it just look dry a little bit for a minute um, and I'm going to be doing a 
test on it now to see how much dirt's been removed. So let me put the camera on the twice, right? Easy for me to say. Let's try and put the camera on the tripod. Yeah, <laughs> let's get right. Let's put the camera on the tripod and I'm gonna show you what the sort of clean power you're gonna get from these two snow foams. So it's on the tripod. So I have, well, I've got two bits of tissue now. My wife found out about the, uh, my makeup pads. I've been using her ones for these tests. <laughs> I've been demoted to tissue paper, but it will still do the same job. We're gonna see the difference. It's, it's a white bit of paper. We're gonna see, you know, the sort of dirt. So we'll do this top bit first. Obviously not the dirtiest bit. So this is squid ink. So I'll just touch that there. And I'll leave that there for now. Let's go to the other side. And we've got the little handle one. Leave that for there. So what do you guys think is gonna be the difference? Now, if you turn over the aquafone one first, no dirt, literally nothing. Bill Hamba, same as trusting that there. Nothing, much the same. So let's go down a little bit lower and we'll test it. Yeah. Bill Hamba. And this is the aquafroth one. Let's try and get a nice bit of dirt. Literally nothing on both again. Obviously this car wasn't the dirtiest, but it just shows you that these products are really both really good. Um, I'd definitely like to do a test again, probably on a, preparing, on a more dirty car, but I couldn't pick and choose today, so this is the car I had. No dirt. I know you, I don't know if you can even pick that up. Built Hamber, Aquafoth. Cleaning power, much on par for this car. This is, you've got to take this into consideration. Every car is different. You're going to have different sort of dirt, what it's been through. So for this car, these are much the same. Now, I'd like to test this on a more dirty car and compare. Oh, drop that one so we don't be using that one again. So I'd like to compare. So as you can see, cleaning power, they're much on par as well. Um, so let's go to the end of the video and I'll give a little bit of an overview what I think of the product and have a little bit of a chat. So it's the next day now and I just wanted to give my overall thoughts on these two products. Um, it's the next day because the Mercedes I was working on was a full detail and I wanted to get that done as quick as possible because the sun was sort of coming out and I just wanted to get it all polished and that before the sun sort of come onto my driveway. It was a lot of work. I spent about eight to nine hours on that Mercedes, so <laughs> it was a big job. So let's give my thoughts on these two products. So as you have seen in the video, I tested them side by side and they both sort of give you the same sort of cleaning power as you'd have seen. Now what I did with the Mercedes a bit later on off camera is I did one side this, one side the built hamber. And I'd say the built hamber just about beats it on cleaning power. It's a little bit better than this one. It's not a lot in it, and it's not much noticeable really. Now price-wise, like I said, they're much the same price, and obviously use a little bit less product than this one, but this is obviously a bigger bottle, so it's about the same on price. So there's actually not a lot in these two products at all. So either one you went for, you'd be happy with. So I'd say that this is still slightly better, but this is still a great snow foam. So either one you go for, you're gonna be happy with. So if you enjoyed this video, hopefully it's gave you a little bit of insight into these two products. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching.